Because I think he's probably Sash. Surprise, I didn't, I didn't even take him down to Sash. It's crazy. Double Zoshians, yo. Double Zoshians. You ain't gonna see this shit anywhere. So fucking cool. I, oh, yeah. What's up, everybody? Back with some more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Regulation GVGC. We got one of my teams today. It's actually a team around Zoshian Sword. This is another really cool and really strong and powerful Pokemon that I came back with the Restricted Regulation G rule set recently. Uh, it's a Pokemon I've been wanting to try for a long time. Uh, as you guys that may not know, I've, I never played Sword and Shield, so I never really was able to use any of these legendaries. So this is actually my first team I've ever built around Zacian Sword. And I think this thing is incredibly good. It has base 148 speed. So I was like pretty much like the second fastest thing in the format right now. Uh, if you're not counting Regieleki, that is, which I think is not really that common currently, but um, apart from Calyrex, it's like 150. Zacian Sword, I think, is like the second fastest thing currently. So it has crazy speed stat, has a really good attack stat, really good typing with the Fairy Steel typing, which is arguably probably the, one of the best typings in the entire game. And it also has a really solid moveset. And it's one of the mods that you can actually justify using Stellar Terra on, so that's what you, we're going to be featuring today. Uh, this is a team by me. If you guys want to use this team, rental code up in the corner. I'll have a pokey pace for this team down below. I'm not going to go in super depth in depth with this team. Uh, this is kind of one of my first teams I actually made. I don't know how, how good this team actually is because this, this team was actually made about... I had this team in game already for about like a week and a half. I just haven't had time to really record up, up until now. Uh, I have another team too that I've had for a while already, but it, it was kind of made at the start of the Regulation G announcement. And I'm not sure if it needs some changes or some tweaks. Maybe a few things need to change with this team because a lot of stuff, at least with the formats, kind of starting to develop now. And this team might have been a little bit outshadowed uh, and it's a little bit outdated. But I wanted to throw this team up for you guys anyways. I think it's still really good. To, um, I don't know how long I'll have the rental code up for. So if the rental code goes down with like next few weeks, that's why. I don't, I don't know how long I'm going to have this team up for. Because there's a lot of other stuff I want to build around as well uh, coming up. So... I'm going to break this team down for you guys, and then we're going to hop in some games. I'll throw a timestamp on screen right now to where we actually start hopping into the battles. If you guys want to skip the explanation for everything on, on screen, just want to hear some battles and go into the matches, it's completely fine. Leave a like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll keep on bringing you guys some more of my own teams. I got a bunch more on the way. Got like two more currently that I'm pretty much ready to bring you guys pretty soon here, probably later this week. So, A team is made around Zashian Sword. Uh, you got the Stellar Terra with the Rusted Sword. Pretty much what it does is, is a held item, but you actually get a plus one boost upon switching, which is crazy, es especially with its already like insanely good attack stat. Being at plus one, like it, you pretty much destroy everything. You pair that with a, ter a Stellar Terra boost, and even on alongside like a Chen Pao, it's absolutely fucking crazy. And there's not much that's going to be taking hits from this thing at all. It's one of the best like late game cleanup mods in the entire game from what I found out and how I've played this team. It's really, really good. I uh, got the AV Rillaboom with more of like a bulky, typical bulky setting, like some defense, some spit F, and mainly max HP. It's really bulky set, just mainly kind of spam priority uh, for fake out and just do decent damage. Um, kind of just take hits from stuff as well with the AV. I uh, got the Bandage Dragonite with Terra Normal. You got the Fire Punch there for Steel types. Mainly stuff like Golden Go. Uh, you also get kind of walled by a uh, opposing Zacian. So if you can somehow live a move from them, uh, you can actually hit them back with the Fire Punch and do a shit ton of damage. That's kind of why it's there. It's mainly for the Steel types you kind of get walled by, which there are a few of them currently that are being played. So that's kind of why I threw it on there. Um, otherwise, it's just a really standard set. I got the Sash, Chera Ghost, Chim Pao, just an overall really standard that I've ran this exact same one a couple times already. Same with the Dragonite, apart from the, the one moveset change. Uh, you got a really cool Smeargle on this team. This is probably one of the craziest Smeargle sets I think I've seen. I don't see anybody running Transform Smeargle, and I think I'm probably the first person to probably run Transform Smeargle on like a team. I have not seen anybody use Smeargle with Transform yet for Regulation G, and I think it's actually really, really cool. Um, if you guys don't know how this actually works, Smeargle copies stats. So if you transform into something like a Calyrex or like something like that, um, granted you probably will get one-shotted by a Calyrex because they outspeed you, but um, if you can happen to like transform into something or you get like a clutch transform on one of your own mons, 
you can actually copy stats if they get stat boost and that type of thing so you can actually copy those um and there's also a really cool interaction with this team where if you copy Zacian, if you're already at plus one attack with the rusted sword and you copy your own Zacian on this team the rusted sword boost will actually proc again and you will actually go to plus two attack with a transform from the smeargle so not only would you have a plus one Zacian on the field probably with it stellar terra you'll also have a smeargle on the field with a click quick claw and a plus two boost as another Zacian, which is crazy to think about and i had that happen a few times i was able to make that work so that's a really cool interaction with this team there's a few other things on the team like if you want to transform into the dragon knights with like the spam e speed and dragon Knight, that's also really good or even like the flutter main it's also really good the one thing you kind of kind of keep into consideration though is you're not choice scarf so you are risking speed ties if you transform into the opposing enemy team stuff and uh, that type of thing, unless you're Quick Claw procs. The main reason why I have the, the Quick Claw on here is just mainly if you can get a Quick Claw pop, you can outspeed a lot of stuff and get like a Clutch Spore on something or like a, a Clutch Fake Out or, or uh, not a Clutch Fake Out, or like a tr Transform or something off. Kind of the main thing, but I didn't really pay throwing Focus Sash on this mirror because I wanted it on the Gym Pound. I think it's a lot more valuable on that, so... It's going to be one of those things you're going to kind of just bring mainly for the wide guard and for the fake out pressure. And if your team's, the opposing team's a lot slower, you're able to outspeed and get some spores off. That's kind of when you're going to be bringing it uh, versus like me for like the wide guard support and that type of thing. And then once in a while, if you can get it to work, you can make it, maybe try to bring it for transform. But I would not bring Smeargle just to try to transform into something because if you're bringing it just for that, usually it just never ends up working out. You kind of got to bring it for like the wide guard or like the spore pressure into the slower teams. And then maybe you can kind of get it, get a transform play going, depending what they have. So that's kind of the main thing. You got the Terra Dark there, just mainly for Prankster Taunt, which isn't really the most common, but I didn't really want, want to throw any other Terra on this thing. And then you got the Booster Energy Speed Flutter Main. With the Booster Energy Speed, you guarantee outspeed Calyrex unless they're choice scarfed, which really is the most common currently. So you pretty much guarantee outspeeding Calyrex, Shadow Rider, and you force them to either go Terra Fairy or Grass or whatever Terra they go into and uh, waste their Terra on the Calyrex. And even then you do a shit ton of damage. You usually do like over half to around about 75% most of the time, depending on, on their build. So solid team. If you guys have any feedback for this team, let me know in the comments down below. Um, this is going to be more of a fun, or te fun team. I don't think this team is incredibly good. It's definitely a team that's really carried by the Zacian, for sure. I think that's kind of what this team is really around. The Zacian 100% kind of just carries this team alongside like Jim Powell, Dragonite some of the time. So it's more of a fun team. I don't know how high you're going to be able to get or like how many wins you're going to be able to get. The ranked ladder is not up yet. Um, I have a bunch more like more competitive teams. I think will be a little bit better for ranked ladder, but at least for like the casual ladder currently, if you want to go on and play with this team, it's really fun. If you guys want to use this as well, if you know some other content creators that look at my videos and my teams just give me some credit and give me some feedback for the team in your video or your description or whatever it's completely fine i want as many people as possible to use my teams to give me feedback to help me improve going forward so without further ado let's hop into this hop in some games all right we are going against a regulation g grout on sun team this is going to be a real pain to go against it's going to be one of those matches that's going to be a really 50 50 game the one thing that I think is really good here, though, is, like, priority spam is really good into him because it outspeeds. Like, I don't really have to worry about the Venusaur here because I think the Venusaur is actually kind of a threat to my team, especially in the sun because I think it outspeeds everything on here. So I'm kind of forced to bring priority here, and that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to bring the, the Chimpao Dragonite lead. I think what he brings here is he either leads Tornadus or Groudon alongside probably either the Venusaur or the Fluttermane. I think that's what he does. He 100% brings, like, what he's going to do here is he's going to 100% bring the Groudon because it's good into Zacian. So I, I see him fully bringing Groudon here. I see him bringing Venusaur and then probably, I don't know, probably Fluttermane. It last month's kind of up, up for whatever he really wants to bring here, but I'm still going to bring Zacian. I think it's still incredibly good. It's still really good. Even, like, a, a Stellar Terra player off, like, it's still incredibly good into the Groudon, especially if I can get some chip damage on him. And then I'm going to bring my own Flutter main here. I think that's my play. I could bring the Smeargle, but I, I don't know if I really need to Smeargle that much in this match. I, I kind of plan on just trying to attack the rest of his team. And kind of deal with him that way. 
see how it goes. I can also probably force some Terras out of the... If he leads Venusaur, I can maybe force a Terra or something in the early game. If you guys like the video, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. I got a bunch more of my teams on the way, along with a bunch of other teams from people. I'm trying to feature some new people and their new... Their, their teams on the channel, so we got a bunch more of like people I haven't really featured before and some of their teams coming up for the pat next week or so. So he just leaves Tornadus Crowd on. This ain't too bad. I think what I what I really need to do here, like he's gonna there's a strong chance here that he actually just goes for Terra. He might just Terra on this turn here. So I, I don't really want to attack the Groudon on this turn. I'm focused Sash, so I don't really care. I'm just going to go for Ice Spinner on the Tornado, so I should one-shot him. I could go for, I'm going to go for Terra Normal here in this E-Speed. I think he's, he goes for Terra here, if he goes Terra Fire. Yeah, or he just protects, maybe. I don't know what the Tornado really wants to do. Unless he has, like, Leer. He, if he's, like, a Leer Tornado, that could be kind of scary, but... He's not even going to tear us, so I could have maybe killed the Growl on here. That does a lot of damage still. Tailwind does not matter. I think I should even under Tailwind, I shall speed him. Yeah, I even do, so he's... It's one, he's not even Sash either, so that tells me he's probably like Culver Cloak. If he goes for Press of his Blades here, oh yeah, he actually just needs Crash, that's perfect. That's perfect, I'm Sash, I don't care. At this point in the game, he's at so low of health, too, to where I don't think it's really worth for him to actually spend a Terra on the Groudon. So that's great. He actually has special attack booster, so that's kind of scary. I think he's going to go Terra Fairy here, so I'm going to protect the Chen Pao. And then I'm going to E-speed the Groudon. He might just protect the Groudon, too, to try to get some damage on me, but... If he goes for Dazzling Gleam, I think I should maybe be able to live. And like, this is why I wanted to protect too, because if he goes Terra Fairy here, like, then I'm able to go for E Speed on the next turn and just one shot him. If I live, that is, if I live this. I think he goes for Dazzling Gleam here, which I should be able to live. TV protects. No protect, you're gone. Goodbye. The dra the crit was not needed. Dragonite destroying a Groudon. You're not going to see that in very many places. He's supposed to be Dazzling Gleam. I should be able to eat this even at plus one. Unless he's like choice specs. We'll find out. This is a lot of damage. I don't think that's specs damage though. He might be Sash. If he's Sash Flutter main, that could be a problem. He also has the Venusaur here, which I'm not really too scared of. What I'm going to do here is I'm actually just going to go for Sucker Punch. I'm going to Sucker Punch, and then I'm going to E-Speed here. I think an E-Speed should one-shot the Flutter Man. It depends on his build, but like it should easily one-shot him. Find out if he's focused Sash. He is. He is Sash. That's bad. Sucker Punch, it does over half. So we're doing really good here. He has Weather Ball. I'm dead. I'm not going to live that. He could still maybe bring this back. He, 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 there's a chance he can bring this back because, like... I think the Venusaur outspeeds the Zacian, and with Weather Ball, he might one-shot me, so I'm not sure if... I don't know how many turns of Tailwind he has left either. I also have my own Flutter Main, which is a speed booster, so I'm not sure if that'll actually outspeed him. Because he's like technically at like plus three right now, so I could maybe just double protect here. He's running out of sun too. And like he's not booster, so like I'm booster, so like I should be able to outspeed both of his mons if, if the sun runs out. So I wanna see how many sun turns he has. I think I might just try to stall sun. Uh, he has, oh, he has two turns of sun left. He has one turn of tailwind left, though. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to double protect. I'm going to double protect so, until he has no tailwind, because I think maybe at plus one speed, I can outspeed the, the Venusaur. Uh, he goes for growth, though. Like, if he predicts this and goes for growth, that's going to be a problem. 
weather ball. It's fine. Shadow ball, that's fine. Okay. So now at plus one, like now that he has no tailwind, like I'm, I'm a speed booster floater main, so I should be able to outspeed him here. Unless he has protect, which could be a problem. I think the, the Zashian actually even outspeeds the Flutter here, so I'm going to go after the, the Zashian and go after the Flutter man, and I'm just going to Shadow Ball the Venusaur if I somehow outspeed. I outspeed him, okay. I don't even get the kill, though. That's kind of sad. Zashian with a huge kill on the Flutter main. We're doing really good. I, I don't know how we can actually pull, pull this game back. No, I think it's kind of a dub. Like, he has to get some crazy luck, unless he has Sleep Powder. See if this actually one-shots me. It does, so that's good to know. Uh, that could be specs too, I'm not sure. Because he hasn't changed his move up at, at all. Well, I think it's pretty much game though. Like I don't, I don't know what he really does here. Unless he has Protect to stall me out, he just surrenders. Not bad. Really nice game number one, really solid showcase for this team. The Dragonite Chim Pow combo coming through, putting in a shit ton of pressure on early game. Kind of single handedly dealing with the Groudon, which was like the biggest threat for this team. Not bad. I'll see you guys in another match. Alright, we're here with another match. My opponent has the Cali Rex team with the Indeedy. And a bunch of other crazy shit on his team. He has Calyrex, Ndidi, Champao, Flutter. Uh, looks like Urshifu Dark, if I were to guess. And then probably and then Ur Ur Incineroar. So. Funny enough, I'm actually bringing Smeargle here. I'm going to be bringing Smeargle to this match. What else do I want to bring? I think I'm going to bring Smeargle. The one thing was the Smeargle as well. Is you're actually faster than Incineroar, and usually you're faster than most Rillabooms because they don't run max speed at all. So this thing is max speed. I think Timid, or I think it's Chali. So like you're, you outspeed major the majority of Rillabooms unless they have like a lot of speed investment, and you're able to actually get your fake out off first before a lot of the other fake out users right now. Apart from like stuff like Minshaw and a few others that are kind of faster, but. One thing with Smeargle right now, a lot of people aren't taking into consideration. It's, it's a pretty fast fake out user from what's currently being played. What else do I want to bring here? I think I just lead Zacian. I just lead Zacian. I'm going to bring Rilla in the back. And then I'm going to bring my own Shin Pao. I think 400% he brings Kylorex here. I think he brings Kylorex and Didi. Probably or Shifu, if I were to guess. And then Incineroar. That's what I guess I'm, what I'm assuming he's going to bring. So he leads Incineroar. I wish I wouldn't have led with the Zacian, because now I lose my attack. The good thing, though, is like the Zacian's really good into Urshifu Dark. Like, you can't do shit to... I mean, he can hit you for neutral damage, but it gets one-shotted back, so... What I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to fake out. I'm going to fake out the Urshifu here. I could protect, but even if he fakes me out here, I don't think it really matters that much. Because I think the Urshifu might just either switch or he might just detect here on this first turn. So I could close combat, but I think I'm just going to play rough here. Get some damage off on him. I get the, the clutch quick claw that does not matter. It's gonna Terra. What Terra are you, bud? Terra Poison? Is that oh it's gonna Terra this thing for some reason? Terra Grass, okay. That's great for me because now I can hit this thing for super effective damage with Chen Pao, so that's great. I break the sash probably on the Urshifu, that's huge. So we kinda just trading fake outs here. So that's great. It's fine with me. I get it. The Spadef boost doesn't matter. My speed drops though, so that sucks. I think he kind of what he predicted there is I think he predicted a spore. I think that's what he wanted to do here. 
Well, I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy my... I'm going to copy the Zashian on this turn. Because there's nothing really... It's not really worth even doing much here. Like, I think I'm going to copy the Zashian if I somehow live. And then I'm going to play rough on this turn. Get rid of the Yoshifu. Get it out of here. I think two Zashians on the field is incredibly good here. Even if he has Calyrex in the back, I have my terrain. He has Parting Shot. Okay, that's not good. He actually outspeeds me. That's really weird. How the fuck do you outspeed me? Oh, I forgot I got my my speed got lowered. That's why my speed got lowered. There was some bad luck. So he has Chimp Howl. That's great. That is perfect. That is perfect. Another thing too is like now, what the fuck does Chimp Howl do to me? I mean, the best thing he has for me is Sacred Sword. Like, what the fuck do you do? Now, you actually copy the attack boost. So this is crazy. You ain't gonna see this shit anywhere else. Transform Smear. He's gonna try to get the Intimidate off again. That's fine. I don't give a fuck. So I'm actually gonna look. I think it actually. I'm not sure if it actually copies your. It copies your minus special attack, but like all your plus stats actually go back to neutral upon transforming. So. Like, I'm at minus one, but it, I don't think it really matters. I think I just double protect here. I think I just double protect on this turn, because I think he's going to try to fake one of these out. I mean, at the same time, though, I don't know if it really matters that much if I just attack on this turn. I'm just going to Behemoth Blade here. I'm just going to Behemoth Blade. And then I'm going to try to get some damage into the Incineroar here. It's going to protect, okay. Fakes out the smear goal. So that's good. That's a good case scenario there because now I'm gonna still get some free damage. That does an okay amount. It's kind of intimidated damage now though, so it doesn't really do as much. I think what he just keeps doing here is like he just keeps swapping out. Like that's what he's gonna end up having to do. He's gonna keep swapping out and trying to intimidate spam me over and over. That's kind of what he's gonna keep doing here. I think he's gonna parting shot out here again. So I'm actually gonna double into the Chen Pao on this turn. I'm going to go for Behemoth Blade. Double Behemoth Blade into Shin Bao. Because I think he's probably Sash. Surprised I didn't, I didn't even take him down to Sash. It's crazy. Double Zashins, y'all. Double Zashins. You ain't going to see this shit anywhere. So fucking cool. I, oh, he has the Flare Blitz. I live... See if he's Citrus Berry. He is. What a surprise. What a shocker. Oh, it's an Incineroar with a Citrus. Wouldn't have thought about that one. He actually has Calyrex. Okay, that's bad. At the same time, though, in the back, like, I have... I mean, I have Chimpow in the back, so, like, he doesn't have Indeedee either, so, like, technically the Chimpow can kind of just win me the game here. I just need damage on Incineroar, like, that's the main thing I need here. I'm gonna play rough. I'm gonna play rough, and then I'm gonna protect here. I need damage on Incineroar, that's the main thing I need. Astral Barrage. I should be able to at least eat one of these. I live. I live on four. As long as the Incineroar is the one getting the kill, like, I don't really care because he doesn't get any benefit out of it anyways. Like, he's not getting a plus one boost, so that's fine. I'd rather have the Incineroar kill me here. Plus, he takes some recoil. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go out into the... Ch into the uh, Jim Powell here. What this does right now is it, it forces him to either, if he has substitute, he goes for it. If he has protect, he goes for it here. Otherwise, I think Stucker Punch just straight up one shots him. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to attack on this turn. I just want some damage on the Incineroar here. So I'm going to go for play rough again. Sucker Punch should one shot him. Goodbye. Get out of here. You're not Sash. Play rough. I don't, I don't think this is going to kill him because I've been intimidated to death, but does a solid amount of damage to the point where I don't think he even wins. Then he just goes for knockoff. That's game. 
It's right under my sash. If he really wanted to win, you should have went for Flare Blitz, bud. He doesn't even know my last mon, which is Gorilla Boom, which just instantly wins me the game anyways with Fake Out, so... That's game. I think he surrenders. I think he surrenders. I don't even need a Stellar Terra here. I could go for Stellar, but he's just gonna surrender. Get destroyed. Get destroyed by the Transform fucking Smeargle. One million IQ strats. Like, he had nothing for uh, that it either. Like, his entire team, he was really weak. Like, he didn't really have, like, especially the mons that he brought. He really didn't have much for Zashi, and the only thing he had was Incineroar, and, like, he couldn't deal with two of them. One was fine enough, like, he could maybe deal with one Zashi, but he had two to that, this, the Incineroar kind of got overwhelmed there. That was crazy. Not even bad. Really cool. Really cool match. I'll see, show you guys another match, hopefully. All right, we're going against a, yet another Groudon team. He has the Groudon, Incineroar, Raging Bolt, Ogre Pawn, Rillaboom, and the Flutter Main. A really tough game. Really tough match. I honestly think like my best bet here is actually just to bring like Chimpow Dragonite. But like I think he, if he leads with Incineroar, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So I think what I'm actually going to do is... Eh, it's going to be a really tough game. I don't know what I actually lead with here. I know he's going to bring Incineroar. Incineroar and Groudon are good into this team. So he brings both of those, no questions. Probably Flutter, and then either it's a toss-up between Ogre Pond and probably Raging Bolt. I'm going to bring Flutter main here. I'll bring Flutter, and I'm going to lead the Smeargle. I still want to bring Zashi in, because it is pretty good into his team. I'm going to bring, uh, I, don't know, I, I just don't do much to Ogre Pond. That's the only thing, though. I'm still going to bring it. I'm still going to bring it. And then I'm going to bring the Dragonite by itself. I think Dragonite by itself is pretty good here. Mainly for the Ogre Pond, because Ogre Pond can't really do much to me. I'm able to kind of one-shot it back if he doesn't tear with Wing Attack, so. See how it goes. It just depends what he brings in this match. It's going to be a really weird game. Just kind of depends which each of us bring. A lot of Groudon teams. A lot of Groudon teams on the ladder tonight for some reason. That's like the third or fourth one I've ran into. This leads with this. He go, he, I'm glad I brought this because like... I don't have to worry about Intimidate here at all. And I can force a Terra or a Switch out of the, the Raging Bolt on this turn. Speed boost. I think what I do here is I just Dazzling Gleam. I, I think the, the Raging Bolt either goes for Terra or he just, he just flat out switches here. And then I'm going to fake out the Incineroar because I should outspeed him. I'm hoping I get some good Moody luck here because if I can get like a speed boost with on Moody or like some defense boost, that'd be great for me. I can start putting some stuff to sleep. He actually stays in. Wow, he stays in. I could have got a bunch of damage off on him. I... Ice, Calm Mind, whatever. That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's leftovers too, so... I think I actually outspeed him. I should be able to, and I can just put him to sleep, so I'm not really too worried about him. I get a special attack boost. Special defense drop. That's not good. I'm actually going to protect on this turn. I'm going to protect because I think he, he might want to go for Thunderclap. I can actually also go for Transform, because he's actually setting up on me, so I can actually probably do that here. I can maybe try to reverse sweep him, which would be crazy. That's why one reason, like, I love Transform on Smeargle, because, like, if you get set up on, like, you can just Transform into it and, like, reverse sweep somebody. Granted, like, he has a better answer to, to Raging Bolt than I do, because he has Groudon, which kind of walls me. Or, like, walls it if I Transform into him. Now, if he's Terra Grass right here, I'm going to be really mad. Are you Terra Grass? Oh, he's Terra Fairy. That doesn't matter. I don't care. Give goes for Thunderclap. Spore doesn't have safety goggles, so get out of here. You're getting going to bed. I think the Smeargle might be going down on this turn, though. I'm going to catch a knockoff here. 
I live. Gets rid of my quick claw, which sucks. I think right now is the moment of truth. Right now is when I transform now. I'm gonna go for transform onto the, the raging bolt here. That's what I'm gonna try to do. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna moon blast the incineroar and then I'm gonna go for transform here. And then copy all of his stats. He's trying to go for Thunderclap to wake up. Now the one thing with Transform too is you do not copy their Terra. That's one thing you don't copy, so just so you guys know. If you do use this team, like if you transform with a Smeargle, you do not copy a Terra. You just copy the base form of whatever you're transforming into. You do copy their stats though, so like now I'm at plus two, or plus one, plus one. He has Growled on. I should get a boost from that, I think, because I have the same ability, don't I? Special attack. Don't I get that as well? I don't think I actually have, maybe I don't. I think I still have Moody, but it just doesn't proc anymore because I transformed. Still really tough for me. This is going to be a really tough match. I mean, I'm not really too scared of the Raging Bolt because I have Zashian in the back, which just one-shots it with his Pink Terra Fairy. I, I think I actually just need damage on the Groudon now, so that's what I'm going to go for here. I just need damage on the Groudon, and then... Yeah, this is a full moveset, too. Like, you can, it's a good thing you actually you can transform, and you can get, like, full insight to his moveset as well, which is great. I'm actually at plus one. I'll show you guys my stats here, actually. It should, it should say I'm at plus one. Yeah, I got my... I copied the stat boost from him, so... I'm actually gonna Draco. I'm just gonna Draco the Groudon. He's still asleep. doesn't do anything. He outspeeds me. Oh. I thought I'd be able to outspeed him. I guess not. I forgot uh, Raging Bolt's slower than base 90, so that's probably why. Be a really tough match. Now I'm in a really bad spot. I think he might actually just switch here. He could actually just switch the Raging Bolt out into the Incineroar, but just mainly for the Intimidate. I don't know if I ever really even want to go for E Speed. If he has Flutter Main in the back and I lock myself into E Speed, then I'm going to be in a bad spot. So I think I actually am better off just locking myself into Wing Attack. I think that's my best play here. I'm going to go Stellar Terra, and then I'm going to go for Behemoth Blade on this turn. I should be able to take a, a, a Thunderclap, even at plus two. And then I'm going to lock myself into Wing Attack here. I think I actually still lose this, because like if the Groudon outspeeds me here, which he probably will, I probably get one-shotted by Precipice Blades if he doesn't kill me here. Or if I don't get rid of him on this turn. Oh, he goes for Protect. Perfect. 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 Get out of here. That's why I wasn't really con too concerned about the Raging Bolt just sitting up because, like, I have Zashi in the back that can't really do much to me anyways. Especially with his move pool. Like, he he's forced to just go for 50-50s on whether I'm going to attack or not because he has Thunderclap. It's, like, his only move that can touch me. Power of Transform brings the Incineroar in here to just try to get the Intimidate off on me. On this turn, what I do is I protect the, the Zacian, and then I try to go for damage on the Groudon to try to make it a 2-8 kill, because he can't hit me with Breast of his Blades, because that's a ground-type move. So, like, he's forced to go for a different move, and I don't know if he really has anything for the Dragonite, unless he carries, like, a like Rock Slide or Stone Edge or whatever, maybe. I'm going to protect here, predicting a fake out. 
And then I'm gonna go for a wing attack again. I think a wing attack's probably a two hit kill. So, on this next turn, I can go for a player off, and if I can land, I can get rid of the Groudon, and it's two hit kill. Stomping Tantrum. Okay, that's good. So he has double ground move plus protect, so I don't even know if he has anything to even touch Dragonite, which is great. It's good for me. I gotta land to play a rough here. If I don't land it, I'm gonna get destroyed. And then I'm gonna wing attack the Incineroar. I land. Thankfully I land, because if I didn't, I could maybe lose. I think Stomping Tantrum one-shots me. I got the uh, the wing attack. Not bad. What is what is your last mon, bud? I got a Stellar Terra boosted close combat with your name on it, bud. Shoyaki Dream. What is that? The Flutter Main. That's Ogrecon. Okay. That's kind of bad for me because like I don't really have much. Like I'm forced to go for close combat here. I'm actually gonna protect. I'm gonna protect on this turn in case he goes for Spiky Shield. I think that's what I do here. Because that way, if he spiky shields, then I, he draws away my my uh, Stellar Terra boost. He's not even going to... I don't even think he has much for Dragonite. That's why Dragonite was so good in this match, too. Like, he doesn't really have much for Dragonite, apart from, like, Raging Bolt. And once I got that out of the way, like, the Dragonite was kind of just free here. And I just straight up one-shots him. That's crazy. Banded Dragonite, putting in the work. Same with Exhaustion. Late-game cleanup crew. Not even bad. Played that one really, really well. We got some more Smeargle Transform action. Really cool. I really like Transform Smeargle. It's really fun to use. Played that really good, though. The Dragonite was such a good mod to bring, because like a lot of his team didn't really have much to hit it, especially Ogre Pond, which is one of the main threats. Same with like, Rillaboom would have been great, like because he doesn't have much for it. Unless he had like Knock Off, but apart from that, they usually don't have very much. So, it's all game. I'll see you guys in one more match. All right, we're here with another game. My opponent has the Mariodon Electric Terrain Squad. It's going to be really cool to go against. Mariodon, Iron Bundle, Ogre Pond, Golden Go, Incineroar, and the uh, Iron Leaves. So I think the one thing here that I'm, I'm kind of forced to bring is I'm forced to bring Priority Spam. That's the one way that you're kind of able to deal with Mariodon, and that's the best way you, you deal with it on this team. Because, like, Terra normal E-Speed usually has a chance to one-shot a lot of the Cryodons if they're not running, like, any, any like, defense or HP. So, I think that's kind of what I lead with. He might just bring the Incineroar and lead with that, and if I go to minus one, that's going to be a bit of a problem. But I can also get rid of his terrain with Ice Spinner, which is also another really good thing here. So, that's one thing I'm going to try to do. What else do I want to bring? I can also, with priority, like... It's good into Iron Bundle. If he's not Sash, he pretty much gets one-shotted by it. What else do I need? I need to bring Flutter Main. The Flutter Main is mainly there. I need to bring that for the Iron Leaves and for the Golden Go 100%. And then I'm going to bring the Zacian again. It just looks really good into his team. The Zacian's also good into the Mariodon because you outspeed it, but a lot of the Mariodons... I've, I've seen a few that are actually running Choice Scarf to, to outspeed like the Zacian and, and mainly Calyrex. I've also seen some other, like, more, like, really bulky variants, so. Like, if, you go, like, if they go, like, Terra Steel as well, or, like, Terra Steel or Terra Electric, and a few other Terras they've been going, to kind of try to check some of the faster mods they're weak against. So he just leads with this. It's fine by me. I don't, I don't really give a shit here if he leads with this. I'm forced to protect on this turn, which kind of sucks, but, like, if I really wanted to, I can just... I can actually just lock myself into Fire Punch here and just quaff for the gold and go. And I'm just going to protect. Like, Fire Punch, depending on his build, like, he should just get one shot by Fire Punch. As long as he doesn't Terra. Goes for Fake Out. Okay, good. Perfect, perfect. Can I get the kill on this? Fire Punch. Bandit. Goodbye. Oh, he's actually Sash. Oh, I get the burn. The burn. The 10% chance to burn. That wasn't even Sash. He just got... Oh, wow, that was such a crazy low roll. 
What kind of damage roll was that? That was weird. Wow, that clutch burn. You couldn't have asked for a more clutch burn. The shitty thing, though, that like, now I'm locked into Fire Punch, so I'm forced to switch on this next turn, depending what he has. So I'm kind of screwed in that way, but I got rid of the Golden Ghost, so that's a huge threat out of the way. No, I kind of really want to keep the Mariah, or keep this, the Dragonite around. I think what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go into the Zacian. I think Speed Booster Flutter Main is also really good into the Mariadon. I think it has a little bit more value into his team than the Zacian does. I think especially with the Dragonite still being able to have Terra Normal E Speed if he has like Iron Bundle in the back. So I think that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to go right onto the Zacian and I'm going to stay in. I'm actually going to sweep away his terrain and not go for Ice Spinner here. That way his damage gets significantly reduced, because if a Mariano doesn't have the terrain, like, it does a lot less damage. That's kind of one way to kind of negate some of its damage, because it really relies on the, ter the terrain to be able to do a lot of damage. What are you, Terra Steel? What Terra are you? Terra Fairy. Oh, that's interesting. So he must not even knew that I was Choice Bandit. He thought I was going to catch, like, a dragon move there. Actually, I'll speed him, unless it's a speed tie. I get rid of the electric terrain. Dazzling Gleam. The Maridon eating that. Or the, the, the Zashin eating that. I think the... Chimpow is gone here, though. I don't think it's living. Yeah, you're gone. Kind of sucks. But I, I got rid of the terrain. That was the main thing. So now if he wants his terrain back, he's forced to switch them right on out, and I kind of get a free turn to do a shit ton of damage. I also get a free switch here if I want to go into Flutter Main, depending on what he has. Santa Claus, so that's the Iron Bundle. So now I'm going to go into the Dragonite again. I think Terra Normal is looking really good here. He's also Terra Fairy, which I think was really stupid, especially seeing that I have Zhaustian on my team. Going Terra Fairy, making yourself weak to the Steel-type moves. Really, really weird. I'm just going to go for Behemoth Blade. I think I'm going to save the Terra for the Dragonite here and just go for E-Speed. If he's not Sash, like, I think he just gets one-shotted by me. He's going to withdraw. He's going to go into the Incineroar again. Try to get the Intimidate off. The one thing I hate about Incineroar, like, everybody just fucking uses it as, like, an Intimidate spammer. They just withdraw and just keep sending it out and trying to Intimidate spam shit to death. It's so fucking annoying. I mean, you're still going to be taking a Behemoth Blade. Even at minus one, it should do a shit ton of damage. I, I know his entire team. Oh, he actually has Protect. I know his entire team now as well, so I can kind of play around that. He doesn't even know my last Mon either, so... He might think that I have something else. That does a lot less than I thought it was going to. I'm going to protect here, and then I'm just going to E-Speed again. If he wants to go into Maridon, he can. He's going to be getting 2 hit KO'd. The reason why, like, not many people are running, like, Rayquaza right now, too, because, like, Rayquaza takes an, a, a restricted legendary slot for Regulation G, and, like, why would you run Rayquaza when, like, Dragonite is fucking good? Like, every single match I think I've showcased for you guys so far, Dragonite's been putting in a fuck ton of work. Like, it's it's absolutely fucking crazy. Like, I don't know why you'd use, a, like, a restricted slot for Ray Plaza when Dragonite doesn't require that. Like, it, you almost just one-shot him. It's crazy. Icy Wind doesn't matter. I'm E-speeding you. Goodbye. Go ahead and Icy Wind me. That's completely fine. Fire Blitz, okay. Whatever. I got a close combat with your name on it now, bud. Unless you switch out on this turn. And then I'm just going to E-Speed again, predicting probably a protect. My opponent's really in the corner because, like, the Dragon is just such a threat versus him. Like, he just doesn't have anything for the Dragon. Like, I don't have to champ Howl with the boost of damage anymore, but even just, like, the Dragonite with Terra Normal E-Speed is spammy. Like, he just has nothing for it at this point. Close combat just almost takes him out. I still have Flutter Me in the back, too, with the speed booster. 
Yeah, I think the re recoil actually get kills him here. So, like, I actually just end up trading, kind of. That might have been a roll, too. I maybe just got a low roll there, because that was probably really close. He probably just got caught unlucky with a, a roll. I got Flur main here, so... I'm not really too worried about this unless he has some crazy move on the Maridon that can throw me off guard. Like, he can't one-shot both of these mods like he hasn't, unless he has, like... I don't know. I really don't know what he can do here. Because, like, I, I get rid of the Iron Bundle with E-Speed. Even if he gets the speed boost, like, I don't care. Like, the Iron Bundle's gone. With a speed boost for the Flutter main, like, I'm able to outspeed him. Get a shit ton of damage. Let's go for Moon Blast. It depends on his build, too. I, there's a lot of uh, Maridons that are also running Assault Vest. AV, I've seen Choice Specs, I've seen Life Orb. I've seen a lot of other other really cool builds. It's one of those mods that you can just build however you really want. It always does really good. That's why it's so good right now. It's one of like, the top five best ones in Regulation G. At least has a, like restricted. I've got my own Maridon team as well. Those of you guys that made it this far in the video. At least like in the next couple days, I'll be showcasing. He actually gets the double protect. Wow. How much does it matter, though? I don't know if that really matters very much, because, like, unless he one-shots shots me here, like, I don't know how much it really matters. It does a solid amount of damage. Does this one-shot me? It does. Okay. So I might lose because of the 50-50 protect. Oh, that's fucking crazy. That's fucking crazy. If he goes for Icy Wind here, I, I, I think I lose. Wow, that's fucking crazy. He has a bunch of terrain turns left, too. I, I'm forced to go for Dazzling Gleam. Wow. Wow, I can't believe I'm gonna lose to the double protect, the 50-50. Oh, actually, I'll speed him. It doesn't get the kill, though. Wow. I can't fucking believe that I actually lost a 50-50 chance on Protect. If he wouldn't have got the Protect there, I would have won this match. That is so fucking bullshit. That is probably the most bullshit match I think I've played in, for, in like the entirety of Regulation G so far. Wow, that is fucked up. If you want to talk about like a win that is not deserved at all, this guy legit stole the win from under my fucking nose and ran all the way. Like he just fucking stole the win from me and he did not deserve it all. This guy got fucking destroyed and he won the game based off of a 50-50 chance of him actually getting a double protect on the iron bundle. That is so fucking stupid. I hate matches that end like this where you play flawlessly and if they win because of a lucky protect, that is so fucking bullshit. That is one of the main things I hate about competitive Pokemon. The random RNG shit like that to where it fucks up any skill. You, you're on your way to win the game, you play perfectly, and you lose because of a double protect chance that he, that he ends up getting. Wow, is that fucking bullshit. I'm gonna consider that a win. I'm not considering that a loss. I won that match. I won that match. I'm not gonna consider that a loss. Let's talk a little bit about this team. All right, as for this team, if you guys want to use this team, rental quote up in the corner. Should be a pokey paste down below. Not really like a crazy, like, impressive team, but like, if you want a really consistent team around Zacian, I, th I think this team is really fun, fun to use, and it's pretty viable. It's not like a crazy, like, top tier team at, at all, but it's a team that'll give you a, a lot of wins if you know how to play it. Like, it's carried by the Zacian. The, the Dragonite Chimp Pow is also really good. Flutter Mane's a great mon. Like, a combo of all these mons, they kind of really complement each other really well, so. And then you got the, the fucking Transform Smeargle, which I don't think anybody's used on any team until now. I think I'm like the first one that's used, at least that I've seen, so. Just that alone, that gives you an excuse to use this team if you really want to use it, just for that, so. But, apart from that, if you guys have any feedback, or if you guys want to use the team yourself, like I said, rental code up in the corner, Pokepaste down below. Let me know any feedback on how you guys do, that'd be great. 
I should have some more of my teams on the way. I have a team around Mariadon that I'm going to bring to you guys. I also have a team around, I think it's... There's a, I'm debating whether I'm making a team around Zekrom or Reshiram. I have one in, like, the early stages of the building right now, so... Should be done, like, a week or so, maybe, like, half a week. We'll see how it goes. Depends how much time I have to actually build. But I have a Mariadon team that's pretty much done that I'll, you guys will be seeing in the next few days, so... I got a few other teams I want to feature from a few other different people that aren't my teams first. And then I'll probably throw that team to you guys later towards the end of the week, depending on where you guys are seeing this. So, if you guys like the video, leave a like, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate all your guys' support on the recent videos as well, same with the daily uploads. I'm going to try to keep on bringing you guys daily uploads for as long as I can until I start running out of teams. Or uh, regulation start G starts getting boring and I start running out of stuff to use or that type of thing. So, uh, apart from that, I'm going to get out of here. Peace out, everybody.